Welcome to another episode of SellMyComicBooks.com Vintage Comic Book Unboxing. My name is Ashley Cotter Cairns. I have a knife and I have a box. And it's actually my 50th birthday coming up. And as a kind of celebration, I decided to buy myself some comic books. And this is not going to take very long because there's not an awful lot of comic books in this box. It's actually quite an oversized box considering how many books are in there, but when you see what they are, I think you'll be quite excited. Let's get into it. As we always say when we're doing the boring part of cutting open boxes, please check out our websites sellmycomicbooks.com and dotcomcomics.com. Both websites have online stores where you can buy comic books. You can also buy toys, action figures, and some cool vintage collectibles that you probably can't find in many other places. We've got some great stuff. I think that we actually have an action, sorry, a, a uh, Captain America collector's badge from the 1940s somewhere on our site, which is kind of, I'm amazed that no one's bought that because it's, it's really cool. It's one of those metal pin badges you could send off for as like a membership thing. Here's all the documentation. Now, I know... I'm pretty sure I know what's in here, but it's it's been a while since I, I bought this. And now I'm kind of... I'm a little bit... I know one of the books that are in here for sure, and the other one I can't remember. You know, I, I buy a lot of books, and... I know it sounds ridiculous that I could buy myself something and forget what it is, but honestly, any given moment I'm either pricing collections for customers or I'm, buy I'm buying stuff for myself. And I know some of it has arrived. Let's see. Okay, there are two books in here. What is that? Oh, okay. Actually, they're both really cool books. But I will reveal them in the order that I think is more interesting for you. It's the first. They're both CGC graded. One is Silver Age and one is Golden Age. This is the Silver Age one. Fantastic Four number 52. First appearance of Black Panther. CGC 80 with white pages. If you've watched other videos I've done, you'll know I'm trying to put a run of not exactly top grade FFs together with white pages, but from number two upwards, I want to have VF or better. So when I saw this book for sale, I was like, I want to own that. Because I know it's only an 80. And I don't know how much detail you're going to be able to see on the camera, all the glare that's going on and everything, but I think it's a pretty damn nice looking 8 -0. Just lately I've, I've really started to wonder about page quality. If you've re really not thought about page quality too much, what white pages means is that the paper has retained the freshness it had from when it was first created. Now obviously that isn't really true, this is like what, 50 something years old, but it's not gone brown, or worse, it's not dried out and started to flake and gone brittle. Over time, comic books obviously were printed on very poor quality paper stock, so over time, the paper can dry out, and when you find a comic book that, that when you open the pages, pieces fall off, that's when the, all, the, all the moisture, all the suppleness in the pages is gone which is why white pages are so desirable, even though that the market doesn't always reflect the difference in page quality uh, in prices, because people just look at the grade. I mean, it's still, it's an 8 right? You could buy an 8 with cream pages, or cream to off-white, or off-white pages, or off-white white pages, and those all are technically a lower page quality than this, which is about the best you can get, white pages. So, that's my FF52, which I'm very happy to get. Now, the other book in this is even more exciting, and this is the Golden Age book. This 
is Batman number two. And it is CGC certified 6.0 with white pages. Batman is, is really the reason that I'm a comic book dealer. I grew up watching the Adam West Burt Ward reruns on TV after school every day. And that got me interested in superheroes. And, and a few years later, my mum had twins and, and so she was really busy and, and would just buy me things to keep me quiet. Uh, not just anything, mostly books and, and magazines and because I love to read so we'd walk past this antique store every day and there was a stroller outside full of comic books that were a penny each so I literally would get a couple of those every day or two and I would just read them and read them until they fell apart so that's where the comic book thing came from now the interesting thing about this book is it's a pedigree book I don't know if you can see that on, on the label top of the label there it's Central Valley Pedigree it's pretty shiny Central Valley Pedigree and if you don't know what a pedigree is, essentially what a pedigree is, is a dealer or, or somebody discovers a big collection of comic books that all belong to the original owner and they were all stored in the same location, bought every month off the newsstand and stored together and aged together and kept together. And when they were sold, they were considered to be a pedigree because this is pretty rare to find a, an original owner collection that's, that's still complete. And so CGC will give uh, a pedigree designation to certain collections. It's quite hard to get a pedigree designation, not every, obviously not every collection, but even, even some very good collections. So we've bought some pretty insanely good collections and they wouldn't be pedigrees. It's very scarce to get a pedigree designation. And it's kind of unusual that uh, a pedigree would have a, a 6.0 in it. Now uh, see what's wrong with this one, it's, it's got a big tear, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but just going into the T of Batman from the top of the cover, there's a, a big tear, it, it runs about, I don't know, two and a half, three inches down the cover. But the spine is very nice, it's got white pages, I guess the Central Valley pedigree was, was kept in great storage conditions, so it has white pages. I mean, We're talking relative when we say affordable, but relatively affordable mid-grade Batman number two with white pages from a pedigree collection. Um, without that tear, it'd probably be a 9.0 or an 8.5, and it would have been double or triple the price. So I'm very happy to have this as my, my birthday present. And hopefully by the time I turn 60, I'll have a Batman number one. That's the plan. And... As I said, that was a pretty small <laughs> unboxing video. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you keep informed of all our upcoming videos. We release a new video every two days on average. Uh, please check out uh, our websites, dotcomcomics.com and sellmycomicbooks.com. All of that stuff is linked below this video. Please keep watching. Please keep safe. Thanks for watching now and speak to you soon. Bye.